Hi everyone, this is Diane Elkins from Artisan eLearning and eLearning Uncovered. I hope you'll join me at Learning Solutions for my session on the different ways that eLearning authoring tools handle responsive design. You'll get to see the finished product and the under the hood mechanics of four different approaches to responsive design. Some tools like Storyline and Captivate offer the option of making your courses scalable. The slides and player controls get bigger or smaller to fit on the device. This approach is the least amount of work, but it's not the most flexible. Buttons and text that look good on a computer monitor might be too small to use when scaled down on the phone. The newer Storyline 360 and Studio 360 offer a responsive player. With this approach, the slides are still scaled to the device, but the player controls reconfigure for different devices. The menu and navigation elements are optimized for each device. This option is also a good time saver and gives you some of the advantages of responsive design, but the slides themselves could still cause some usability issues on smaller devices. Some tools like Captivate and Lectora let you create a regular course that's scalable like an option one earlier, or a responsive course. If you choose the responsive course, the software creates five breakpoints, computer, tablet, and phone, with tablet and phone in both landscape and portrait orientation. The software does its best job to guess how each one would look best by making text and buttons bigger and images smaller. This gives you a ton of design control, but it also adds to your effort since you'll have to massage each version of each slide. Finally, some tools like Articulate Rise or GOMO are designed for responsive from the start. They are template-based tools where the software does all the work of reconfiguring how the slide should work on each device. Everything always fits, and you don't have to do anything to make that happen. However, you are limited to the design options that come with the templates. If there isn't a template for it, you can't do it. I hope you'll join me in my session where you can learn more about the pros and cons as well as the nuts and bolts of each of these options.